What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So today we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about our Havoc build. Uh, if you guys haven't followed the channel for long, this is a build that has given me trouble forever, hence the name Havoc. And uh, we're actually going to be adding a card to this rig. Uh, we removed it from our Raven coin 12 GPU rig and we're actually adding it down here. All of the cards up here are 4 gig, uh, 470s and a 570. This is a big boy for me. It's a 588 gig. Um, so down here in this setup, we do have four total cards, a EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Super XC in the back there in blue. Uh, we also have a GeForce GTX uh, 1060 6 gig right up here in the front left. In the back, we have an RX 580 XFX 8 gig card. And finally in the front here, we have a solo GeForce GTX 1650 Super. All the cards are mining Ethereum except for the 1650 Super, which is mining Ravencoin because it's a four gig card. So today what we're going to go ahead and do in, and discuss with you guys is adding a card to an existing setup. And it's like, oh, that's, that's so simple. You know, you just add it, plug it in, off you go. But we are currently running three different flight sheets on this rig because we have an AMD card running Ethereum. We have two Nvidia cards running Ethereum and then a third running Ravencoin. So I wanted to go through the process of adding a additional card to your mining rig and making sure that you configure it properly. So for all of you advanced miners out there, this is a walk in the park and doesn't really apply to you. But for a lot of you new miners that are getting into mining like I have over the last five months, any additional tips, tricks, and guides as a beginner are super helpful. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're gonna start out by jumping over to Hive OS, powering this down, and then we'll install the card. Hive OS is up and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in here and we're going to stop our miner, which will stop the miners across the board. It should really just say stop miners, I feel like, because it literally stops all of them. It doesn't just stop the miner that is selected. Once that goes ahead and finishes, we will uh, give it a few minutes. We'll come back in and we'll power the sucker down entirely to give it some time to cool. In the meantime, while it is stopped, I wanted to review the flight sheets in here because a lot of what we're gonna be discussing has to do with our flight sheet. So as you can see in our flight sheet, it's made up of three separate miners. We have Ethereum on Team Red Miner, we have Ethereum on ETH Miner, and then we also have Ravencoin on NB Miner. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this flight sheet. And as you can see, it's broken up three different ways. It shows us exactly how this works. And we can add another miner in the bottom right-hand corner if we so chose. But in our situation, we don't need to do that. So what we're gonna be doing is actually working on the top miner here, Team Red Miner. Mining Ethereum to our Exodus wallet on our Hive on pool. And when we click Setup Miner Config, you can see within here, the extra config argument. So if you're brand new to this and you're just getting into it, when you have multiple different uh, mix of cards, multiple different flight sheets, you're mining you know, two different things, Ethereum, Ravencoin, you have to come in here and actually specify what GPUs use this miner. So you can see here, dash D space zero, it gives you an example and it tells you, you know, to understand what cards will use this list of command separated device IDs to use for mining. So each card has an ID and that ID is the, is the zero, the one, two, three, whatever. So this here I have in place minus D zero. So this is saying only apply this miner, team red miner, which is an AMD miner for Ethereum to card zero, which lo and behold is our RX 588 gig. That's the XFX. We are going to be going ahead and adding another Radeon RX 580. Uh, but in this situation, uh, this one is gonna be the Sapphire Pulse. So what we're gonna do, and is a great practice to do, we've stopped the miner, we're gonna come into our flight sheet and we're going to unset the flight sheet. So when we boot this rig back up, it does not start mining. 
Because throwing in a curveball of a card, like a, just another card into the rig, is going to throw the entire rig into a tizzy. Not sure what to do with the card, what miners should mine with the card. So I always like to go ahead and unset the flight sheet before we go ahead and get into this. So we've gone ahead and finished that. So now we're going to power it down. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and install our fifth card in here. Uh, this is the Sapphire Pulse RX 580 8 gig card. Uh, we're going to put it right in front of the GeForce GTX 1650 Super uh, that we see here. Uh, we do have... We do have everything plugged in and ready to go on the card already. Uh, because this was in the previous build up top there. So we do have our riser ready to go. Uh, we do have our power cable to our riser, which is our six pin, which will go right into it. We're not running any splitters on this. We're not running it off a of SATA or Molex. We're going right into our power supply, our server power supply. We do have our USB cable ready to go, as well as our PCI adapter card. And then we do have, this takes one eight pin on the side of it for power. So we're gonna go, and that goes in the six pin there. So let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, so it's that easy to do. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and power up our rig. We'll power up the power supply first on our server power supply, which will give power to our risers and also our GPU. And then we'll give power to our ATX power supply and get this sucker up and running. Okay, so we are uh, set and good to go. Uh, went ahead and powered it up. We'll give it a minute here. And uh, now the next thing to do is to jump over to HiveOS. The flight sheet is not set. So what that's gonna do is HiveOS is gonna recognize all the cards in the system. Uh, it'll look for overclock settings. So we're gonna wanna make sure that we put in the proper overclock settings for this card. And then we're gonna go ahead and, and we want to make sure that we add this card to the proper flight sheet uh, miner, uh, which was the Team Red miner, which will share the configuration with that XFX uh, 580 8 gig in the back there. So let's uh, stop over to HiveOS. So we're over on HiveOS, and as you can see, it's already uh, pushed a lot of our configurations all over the place, guys. Um, so that is something that we're gonna have to look at here. As you guys can see, it's got like, it, it's literally thrown all of my configurations all over the place um, for my overclock settings. So the flight sheet is disabled. So let's go ahead here and get um, this set up and good to go uh, moving forward. So uh, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna come in here and we're gonna go ahead and make some changes uh right now to this setup here for the rx 580 we want to go ahead and actually its config is going to match the xfx 580 up top okay so let's clean up these overclock settings now um so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into our rx 580 and we're going to go ahead and get this adjusted uh as we see fit so this is actually going to have a core clock of 1200 uh the core state is going to be down to one the core voltage is going to be at 900. Uh, we're then going to jump down to our memory and put that at 2100. Our memory state is at 1. And uh, then, for all intents and purposes, we'll set the fan at 75 for right now. Now, um, this card right here 
is micron memory. So we're going to want to check our reference here. And micron memory should be reference to 30, which is what we are. So we'll go ahead and apply this. So, okay, great. So we've gotten our RX 580. Uh, the overclock settings are set and good to go. Uh, reviewing the rest of these settings, it looks like nothing else has been bumped or moved around. So that's good. Great first start. So now the next thing to do is we need to review our flight sheets uh, or the one flight sheet and the miners involved to make sure that nothing got bumped around. So we've added, uh, this card was added. And as you can see, your AMD cards follow its own uh, numeric order. So this one's zero, the next one's one. Then our NVIDIA card, zero, one, two. So we need to add GPU one to the same miner on our flight sheet that this is using. So we're gonna come into flight sheet and we're gonna find our one for Havoc, which is this guy. We're gonna edit. Now, if you remember, Havoc has three different uh, miners, Ethereum for Team Red Miner for AMD, Ethereum for ETH Miner, um, which is for our NVIDIA, and then Ravencoin, um, which is for NVIDIA with NB miner. So we're gonna come into the setup miner configuration here. We're gonna click there. And as you can see, it has the devices assigned to this miner as device zero, which was our first um, 580. So then it says here, if you highlight over the information bubble, you need a comma, and then we put a number one. So now it's doing both 580s. So we're gonna hit apply and we're gonna go ahead and hit update. Now, it hasn't applied to the rig yet. All we've done is update that uh, flight sheet. Our next step is to come over here to the rocket and to the moon we go, we'll go ahead and click it. And now it's going to apply the flight sheet to this rig. And if all works out as it should, we then should start mining properly here in just a second. So while we wait for this to start up here uh, and start to get some hash rate, take a look at the top. Now you can see that Team Red Miner is identified zero and card one. It says three here. This is a this is a UI issue, but you can see, look, there are two cards registered to use the Team Red Miner for Ethereum. That would be both of our 580s. Then we have the same thing. We have two cards under Ethereum for ETH Miner for NVIDIA, one being the 1060, one being the 2080, and then finally our NB Miner, which is doing the 1650. So things are looking pretty good so far. The system has recognized, hey, you have another card in here. So let's go ahead and load up Hive Shell, which if you guys haven't really gotten into Hive Shell, it's a great thing to get into. It really gives you some information as to what is going on in my system at this second. The Hive OS dashboard view that you see here is great. Don't get me wrong but it is really nice to be able to see what exactly is going on uh, within the hive shell. Give us an error. Let's go ahead and try that again. As I'm promoting, as I'm promoting hive shell here, I get an error trying to load it. Of course, you know, nothing scripted here. Everything is, uh, is off the cuff, cuff on the fly. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Second time's a charm. So let's go ahead and get in here. We'll load this up. So there's a lot of really good information right here on this home screen. But what I recommend you doing to get some instant visibility is MOTD space watch. This is going to go ahead and load up like if you had a monitor hooked directly to your rig. That's exactly what you see here. So you can see at the top, number one, Team Red Miner. Look at that. It has picked up both of our cards. It shows both the cards. It shows our first one is at 31.83 and our second one is at 31.47. So it is showing that beautifully. If you hit number two, just like at the top, it's going to swap miners. Now we're over to ETH miner. Now we're mining. Uh, now this is our data on our NVIDIA mining Ethereum. And then number three, here's Ravencoin. Uh, and it's showing our uh, Ravencoin being mined on MB miner. Uh, and it shows our 1650 there, which is awesome. So let's come back to Hive OS. Let's refresh. And now it should have all that information. And bam, there it is. We have a quick spotlight of exactly what's going on on our rig. Um, I can see that this 580 isn't hashing as high as our other 580. So maybe there's some additional configuration we can do uh, to get into it. Other than that, guys, this was a short, quick video on how to add a new graphics card to your existing mining rig. Hopefully this was helpful to you uh, as a new miner on going through all the different steps from 
uh, proper way to shut down, to uh, unsetting the flight sheet, to installing the, the GPU, to powering back up, to configuring it. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.